town where I live in Woking and I'm going to have lunch there so I thought let me take you with you to show you what Nando's looks like in the UK and also to show you the prices of what things cost here in the UK at Nando's. Please do let me know where you are watching this video from. Do you have Nando's where you live and do you go to Nando's? And if you do not live in a place with Nando's and you are especially South African, please do let me know how much you miss Nando's. It's one of the most popular food chains in South Africa. They do one of the best chop grilled chicken. Is it chop grilled? But they, they do the best uh, open flame grilled chicken. And they are actually a Portuguese recipe, but they are most popular in South Africa. I'm not even sure if they're there in Portugal, but I will ask them when we go inside. Let's go. So this is what you use to scan to buy your food. You scan it on your phone and then you order and they will automatically know your table number and bring it to your table. And I love this ceiling. That's one of the things I love about Nando's is how they decorate their restaurants. It just has something that reminds me of home about it. And this particular one, the ceiling is made with green beer bottles and it's, it's just beautiful, it's so arty, it's so artistic and uh, I just love it and I also love the art work that they have there's such beautiful artwork that they have and uh, if you can look at the photos behind me they are all throughout the restaurant they are made uh, with beads, it's all beaded art I just love it, it's got people that look like me people with hair that looks like mine a lot of things have changed when it comes to ordering but it's still the same with going to the station with all the sauces and the plates and your cutlery you just take what you want and take it to your table and I'm just gonna grab my favorite sauces and take them to my table and I I just love the atmosphere when you come here I love the music they play beautiful South African music and uh, the menu is is still here you still can see the physical menu although you order using the app but you can still see the physical menu and the prices are actually quite reasonable like compared to other local prices for, for food and uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, what am I gonna have? I am going to have a quarter chicken and chips and rice. So I'm ordering the quarter chicken with two sides. It is eight pounds something, eight pounds something, just, uh, just below nine pounds, which is about 180 rands in South African rands. And I know that's a bit, expensive compared to local prices in South Africa but it's not too bad for under 10 pounds you get a meal at Nando's and I don't want any drink I want water and I'm getting water and you get free water at Nando's but I brought my own water anyway and they allow you to bring your own water because you can get water there for free anyway and if you buy things like Fanta Coke you just get given a glass and you have a fountain where you can just keep filling until you are full they don't count how many times you refill your drink and my meal is here I am so happy I've been craving Nando's today and I am I wish I had some coleslaw as well my food does look a bit dry but I will manage it will be fine it's not a lot of food at uh, uh, the thing I don't really like though is I forgot to put as a side note when I ordered that I would like the bottom part of the chicken I like the leg we call it number seven at home and they gave me the wing I don't like the the top part of the chicken I find it too dry but chicken is chicken food is food I will still eat it and I'm sure I will still enjoy it 
just not as much as I would have enjoyed it if it was the leg part. I love me a leg, a thigh and a leg is my favorite part of the chicken. But this is also good, except that I do find it dry. I, yeah, but what can I say? It is my mistake. I didn't tell them and usually they assume that everybody loves the top part. Mm, and I don't. But I love it and I love that they play South African music. I am currently listening to Miriam Makeba. They were playing Mafiki Zolo earlier. So it just makes me feel like I am in South Africa whenever I am at Nando's. And even when you look around, you see a lot of people like Awena, Basku Kemur, you are from South Africa, you are from home. The place feels like you are in a South African restaurant and I just love it i love it i love it and it's nice that restaurants have now opened and we can just go out and i'm one person who doesn't mind going out by myself i don't have to wait for people to come with me and i am enjoying my food as you can see i am enjoying the food it is really nice but for some reason, I do not enjoy the bones here. In South Africa, I would actually chew the bones. You wouldn't even see that there was chicken on the plate. Do you guys chew your bones when you eat chicken? Especially when you eat mandos, do you chew your bones? And how much is a half chicken with chips and rice in South Africa or in your home country? And do you love Nando's? Do you eat Nando's? Do you think it's overrated? Do you prefer the other types of chicken? Or do you think Nando's is the one? And that's it for this video guys. I just wanted to take you inside Nando's in the UK so that you can see what it's like. It's very similar to South Africa and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, please do make sure that you subscribe. Subscription is absolutely 100% free. Mahala. And in the comment section, let me know what other places you would like to see while I am still in the United Kingdom. Where would you like me to take you? And thank you. Bye.